80% acquired rate and bonus, 6,840. Alright, that's very nice. I'm definitely going to have to save the game now because I was stuck at that point for a while though and it was a bit of practice. Fortunately, I was able to progress. So now we're in a loading screen and I'd assume there'll be another cutscene to inform you of basically of what's going to happen next in the story mode. If we're engaged in another cutscene, Naruto just apparently saved the day. He defeated Kanazu and Shikamaru defeated Hida and so two of the tasks are down. There's seven left. And um, Sasori has been defeated earlier though. And Debadora, or Debadaya, however pronounce his name. He was able to escape um, Naruto and Kakashi. So um, the attack that defeated him was the wind style Rajan Shuriken. And um, that attack is super powerful and can deal a massive amount of damage. I think it was the attack that defeated Pain as well. Alright, so now the cutscene is about to basically inform us, inform us, inform us of Naruto's next specific goal, though. And now we're returning back to the Hidden Leaf Village. I guess it's going to be time for our next uh, mission briefing, or maybe we could change our character. In this game, you could play as multiple characters. Now we, now it says Naruto WS. Rajan Shuriken, new character now usable. Alright, so we can let, apparently we got a new character. Kankazu, I think that's how I pronounce it, is now usable, now valuable. So we could play with some, I think, online or in a free battle mode. So that's a nice bonus, though. It's an incentive to keep playing. You unlock many new items. And overall, this has excellent graphics. The gameplay is mixed up between um, basically quick time attacks where you have to press a specific button order right, and then you've got um, special juices you could deliver and you after you execute them you could watch the animation and I don't think you have to press them specific button combos while you're watching the follow a specific quick time event while you're watching the animation so you've got juices you've got ninjutsu you could use you've got um I guess it's called taijutsu you could probably use genjutsu as well and then when you're using these juices, Sorry, I don't think you have to wa you I don't think you have to use a quick time button um I don't think you have to use a quick time button attack to execute them once they're already executed. See ya. With some games you after you execute a special move you still have to press specific buttons in order to try to deal extra damage though, but in this game I don't think you have to, so that gives you the opportunity opportunity to watch your attack while you're fighting. Alright, so now I'm um, we're progressing, and now um, so I think Shikamaro's informant, Asuma's wife, okay I think her um, Shikamaru. Asuma's wife, I think she was a trainer of Shino and What's Hinata that? and Kaiba or Kiba or however you pronounce his name. And now he's informing her that her husband has been defeated in battle, though. So. This game follows the anime very well, because in the anime you're able to see specific... You're able to follow the storyline and see specific scenes that take place in the Naruto universe, and these specific scenes that you're able to see in the anime are nearly identical to ones in the game, and apparently I guess that they're going to have a child and I guess Shikamaro is going to be the trainer and maybe their child may be something in a possibly a future Naruto series where he is in it but right now we've got him Naruto at 15 and his friends at 15 and 16 and then you've got some other people too in the series that are from the original series such as Kakashi and we defeated we completed chapter 3 which is Mordo Itasuke basically the heated end Kanazu were immortal. Kanazu could keep acquiring hearts so he could live forever and he had apparently I guess four hearts in him and he didn't was able to remain immortal from I guess sacrifices to his god. So we just defeated the mortal Taski. Naruto is returning to the Hidden Leaf Village and he's talking to Jiraiya and he calls Jiraiya Pervy Sage and Jiraiya is um Naruto's second um, trainer 
or I guess you could say Sword if you want to consider Iruka Sensei to be Naruto's first mentor, and then Kakashi his second mentor, and you could consider Dry his third mentor. And he's, I think he's been traveling with Jiraiya for three years, learning new techniques, engaging on missions, becoming even more powerful than how he becoming more powerful than he previously was, and how he's talking to Jiraiya though. And in the anime, he also talks to Jiraiya as well, so this is similar to the anime. And you could read the text if you want to follow along to the specific words that the characters are using to interact with one another. And Naruto's eating, um, I think the food that he's eat eating is called, um, some... I think it's called ramen, which would be the specific name of the food he's eating. And he's eating ramen with Jiraiya right now, and in the anime he enjoys eating ramen, so this is similar to the anime. And now Jiraiya's given Naruto inspiration to um, continue his um, dream and, I guess, his missions. And this is similar to what goes on in the anime, where people inspire Naruto to pursue his dream and they believe in him. And Jirai is basically saying that he believes in Naruto too. Huh? Alright, so now they're having a contest to can finish their ramen faster. And apparently the loser has to... The loser of who doesn't finish their ramen at time has to pick up the tab. So now they're eating. And I guess I would assume that ramen is Naruto's favorite food. Right now um, Jirai is informing Naruto of a strategic tip, and this is what you can expect, because Naruto, because Jiraiya is supposed to be Naruto's mentor, his trainer. Alright, and now I want to get to the point of being able to save the game, because I do not want to have to restart the, that battle, and the game is informing us in specific words about the story mode, or the storyline so you could read the specific words to understand exactly what's going on and um there's also a leaf that is moving back and forth between around and between various words though in the background and these leaves are an interesting way to view text because it's just an unusual background that you normally don't see when you're reading text as leaves on in the background. So it was something unique to the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 st story mode. Alright. And it's basically informing you of it's foreshadowing the future and basically informing you what's going to happen next though. And now we're in the between a cut or in between a loading screen and there's a tip for the guide to victory and you can read these tips in order to learn how to defeat your enemies and hopefully be able to use the tips to your advantage to defeat your opponent so now we're loading and now we're progressing and now we're in another loading screen again the game is automatically saving so this is fantastic that it automatically saves and we're another loading screen fortunately the third loading screen seems to load relatively quickly. Alright, now it shows Sasuke. And Sasuke just defeated apparently one of Roshimaru's snakes. And I guess Sasuke is doing training right now and Sasuke apparently wants to become stronger so he could defeat Ichiya, his brother. And I guess that's his main goal. So he's taken mentorship under Roshimaru. Ironically though, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke have all basically taken mentorship under the Sanin, so they may be considered to be as powerful as a Sanin, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Basically, it's the three um, pupils of uh, Sarutobi, which is the third Hokage, and Naruto and Sasuke are extremely strong. Sasuke has a curse mark, which he can use to become more powerful and dive deeper into a greater level of power 
and um, Naruto was a nine-tailed fox, which makes him practically invincible. And I, I'm sure about what Sakura can do, but maybe she has special healing powers, or I think she could hit hard in melee range, which she learned from the fifth Hokage. And apparently in this part of the story, or in this part of the game, Urushimaru was weakened though, so Sasuke may take advantage of the opportunity to defeat Urushimaru, because Urushimaru is trying to take over Sasuke's body, so Sasuke's gonna have to defeat him before he takes over his own body. Alright, and Sasuke's part of the Uchiha clan, so he's also got the Sharingan, and he can also access uh, the Sharingan level 2, I think it's called the Meino Sharingan, or something similar to that nature. So Sasuke's got the curse mark, the Sharingan, and he's extremely talented and skilled. He's one of the three last Uchiha alive right now. Itachi Uchiha is alive. And you've got Madara Uchiha and now Sasuke Uchiha. And with the elimination of Itachi, only Sasuke remains and Madara. Because Sasuke does defeat his brother later in the game. I would assume he defeats his brother later in the game. Because since that anime, since the game follows the anime, I would assume that he would defeat his brother in the game because he defeats his brother in the anime. Alright, so now we're fighting our battle against Uroshimaru, and Uroshimaru is one of the Sanin. Apparently he's weakened right now, he needs a new body. Sarutobi, the third Hokage, sacrificed his life to prevent Uroshimaru from being able to continue Jusu's. I think he sucked out half of his soul or something, so Roshimaru's not in his best condition, and 